Hello and welcome to writeforyourlife.net. This post is going to uh, provide a short tutorial on how to use document map and styles in Microsoft Word to uh, navigate your documents better, particularly if you've got long documents, so uh, something like a novel or if you keep a lot of shorter articles in, um, in one longer document. Well, this will show you how to, um, to uh, move around uh, a lot easier and a lot better. Um, I'm going to be using um, a Mac version of um, Word, uh, but I'll also include um, in the post below, I'll include instructions on how to use both document map and styles in uh, a PC version of Word. Okay, so let's get cracking. Okay, so I've got a Word document open here, and what I think most people tend to do when, uh, when I, and I certainly used to, um, uh, when I was starting a Word document is, is automatically go straight to my title so I would put my title in so title goes here or there oh, I can't leave that like that can I um, so title goes here and then I'd start writing I've already got some uh, some copy copy and pasted in so there's some that's the first chapter of a wonderful novel written in Laura Mipson or Latin and what I would do to distinguish the title from the from the uh, for the main body of the text is probably highlight it like so and then I might go and make it bold and then if I got really excited I might make it slightly larger or something like that and that's absolutely fine because then I can write the second chapter of my novel or I can write for instance I could write another blog article and just create a long document with lots of blog articles in and what excuse me and uh, I could insert a page break or something like that and then all I do here is write in my second chapter or title depending on whatever it is you're doing and then of course I'd have to do the same thing and come down here and I'd have to highlight it make it bold make it fancy or larger or whatever I wanted to do and then of course I'd have to go again and I would right 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 and there's my second chapter that's slightly longer and that's fantastic I could do that um, for as long as I wanted and I can make the document as large as I possibly could um, however as you can see if I sort of want to go back to a piece of text if there's something say in that first chapter and I'm on my fifth or sixth or twenty sixth um, and there's something I want to find somewhere else it's quite tricky just to move backwards and forwards you can see I'm gonna have to do a lot of scrolling and that kind of thing and that's where styles come in handy uh, in Word and uh, they come in even handier when we use document map as well. So using styles, um, if I go back to my first chapter, so that's my first blog article, whatever, it, whatever it's going to be, um, and highlight it again. Instead of making it bold, it's, uh, what I wanted, or, or, or larger, what I'm going to do instead is assign um, a style to it, or a heading uh, is, is often what it's called, but it's in styles on the right hand side here and you can see it says Heading 1. So much in the same way when you put in a blog post together, you've got Heading 1 which is usually a title and then Heading 2 for sub subtitles, that kind of thing. It's the same sort of principle. So I've highlighted where, where I want my title to be. Rather than making it bold or rather than making it larger, what I can do is just click here on Heading 1 and you can see it automatically changes. Now the default style for Heading 1 on on the Mac or on whatever it is, I, the way I've got it set up is it, makes it, it means it's blue and as you can see here it's got like a large uh, a large space um, above it, uh, but that doesn't particularly matter. Um, all that matters is that it's assigned to a heading one. If I wanted to, I could go in and change the way that looks. I might as well do that while I'm here. Just click on the drop down, modify style, and then here I can change it to whatever I want. And basically, um, so I'll make it slightly smaller. I'll make it black instead of blue, and I don't know. Maybe I'll make it a bit more space between um, between that and the body text and then I click on OK. Um, and what that does, it means that every time I assign any title to a Heading 1 style, um, it will always appear the same. So I, I don't have to remember how I've styled my titles, it will always be the same. So if I now scroll down to my second chapter heading, which looks, uh, it, looks as I, it looks the same as it did as I left it before, if I, um, if I highlight that as well and I make that Heading 1 too, you can see it automatically uh, changes to be um, 
presented in the same style as the first heading. So basically, instead of writing new chapters, titles, or new article titles, and then making them bold, and then making them uh, slightly larger, all I need to do is to assign a heading one star to it, and um, it will make sure that they look exactly the same. So that's benefit one, and uh, benefit two involves using document map. On the Mac version of Word, document map can be found um, by clicking on the navigation pane icon, which is here, and then document map, which is just on the left hand side here. So you can see what's happened is that any title that's been assigned to, or, or heading that's been assigned to the heading one style will now appear in this left hand side. And what that effectively means is um, you're building up a way of navigating through your document. You can see, you can see at the moment um, I'm positioned on the second chapter. I'm at the start of the second chapter of my document, or the second title. But if I click on the first one, which of course I call title goes here, it will jump. The document will jump straight to it, and my cursor will be in position, and I'm ready to find whatever it is that I wanted in that particular part of the document. Now. When that really comes in handy is if you have a long document. So if I show you my novel, um, like so, there it is. So that's the first chapter of my novel, and you can see the title here. Um, that's um, a heading one, a style, because I've applied styles to all of my uh, chapter titles. And if I click onto the, the navigation pane and document map, you can see that on the left hand side, this is a list of all the chapter headings um, in my novel. So there are 44 of them and this is a 226 page document and if I know that I want to go and edit um, a chapter later on, for instance this one that's called Rhythms, I just click on Rhythms and there I am, I've moved to page, you can see at the bottom here, I moved to page, one, page 160 of 226 and I'm ready to start editing in that particular part of the novel. And I can move around as much as I like, so you can see if I click around on these different uh, chapter titles, um, you can see that um, the document is moving with me and the cursor is moving with me and it means that I can navigate my, my long document really, really quickly and easily. Um, and that's about it, I think. So um, it's uh, to a quick overview, instead of using um, uh, bold and um, making titles larger, instead of doing that you can select them and you can assign using styles, you can assign, um, I'm, I'm suggesting you use heading one style and if you do that for every single title in your document that will automatically create a kind of a, con a, a navigatable or a navigable or another word that is probably the right one um, uh, contents page on the left hand side effectively that you can use to move around your document. Okay, that's it. I hope that was useful. Okay, so that's um, that's the tutorial over and done with. I hope that that was useful. Um, I know that a lot of people are using other programs like Scrivener or um, StoryMill or Writeroom um, or even op um, uh, other uh, word processing sort of programs like OpenOffice. Um, however, I think that a lot of people probably still use Word. I know that I do. Uh, for a lot of things um, and I have done for my novel certainly as you just saw um, so hopefully that was um, a useful tutorial and if I didn't describe it very well or it all went a bit mad and you couldn't quite follow what I was talking about then feel free to um, leave a comment and tell me so or to email me and I'll get in touch and help. Um, remember you can subscribe to the blog um, writeforlife.net using uh, a link at the bottom of this post or one at the top of the homepage and um, and that's it. Thank you very much.